In 1983, it took a team of eight programmers and artists to make the original Super Mario Bros game. But today I'm going to try and do it with just one. Chat GPT. I told it that I wanted to make my own version of the Super Mario Bros game, but I have no experience in game development and I need it to write every single line of code for me. To which it said no. No, no, genuinely just said no. <laughs> This left me with one option, upgrading to ChatGPT Plus to get the most powerful AI model available right now, GPT-4. Please work, please work. GPT-4 gave me a clear seven step guide on how to make the game, so, so I did what it said. Step one and two was to install Unity, which is the software we're using to make the game, and set up a new project. Step three and four was to set up the scene and add the characters. Step five was bringing the characters to life, which meant literally copying the code that ChatGPT gave me for Mario's character movement, into the game and hopefully it would work no! <laughs> oh my gosh it actually works okay he jumps quite high <laughs> oh yes i asked chat to refine the movement to make it more human like i also needed mario to be able to jump different heights based on how long the jump button was pressed for just like it is in the game. However, the variable jump thing just confused ChatGPT and it actually stopped Mario from being able to jump at all. The code it used just wasn't using the correct method. However, it recognized that and then corrected itself. So big up to ChatGPT there. That, that's, that's big points in my book. The next problem I had was that Mario could spin. So I prompted ChatGPT to try and fix it and he said it's something actually I needed to change in the game editor. But even for this, it gave me clear instructions on what I needed to do. Yes, it's not rotated. Yeah, just to be clear, I wasn't actually writing a single line of code for this. No, not a single line of code. Uh, I was just changing things in Unity, the game designing software that you can't do through code. But Mario was running off the screen. And this was because the camera was not set up to follow the player. But once again, ChatGPT came through with the code that I could just copy and paste onto the camera. Here we go. Oh, hang on, I've disappeared. Please follow. No, yes! Oh, ho, ho! let's go. Then it was time to create the level by adding obstacles and the great blobs. Do the little blobby things. You don't want to hit them. ChatGPT supplied the code for the blob and I copy and pasted that across, but there should have been a game over function when Mario and the blob collided. Like in the game, but nothing was happening. This was a mistake ChatGPT had made. It told me the blob shouldn't have been a trigger function, but I questioned that and it agreed with me. So does that mean it's 1-0 to me? I mean, I'm not keeping count or anything. Next, it started dropping off the map as soon as it spawned in. And then here, it got the greater than and less than function the wrong way around in its code, which I tried explaining it to it literally like three times, and it still didn't listen. So I had to change the code manually. Which I guess technically means we failed the challenge, but or do we let that slide? But then things actually started to work. I just could not believe it. Yes, God! Me and ChatGPT even started animating the characters using my questionable photoshopping skills uh, and ChatGPT's code. I mean, what a dream team. I then fixed the bug where Mario was sticking to objects and floating in the sky. And then it was time to add the most fun part of the game, power-ups. Oh, it's the light button. Oh, damn, it's Mario. Look, that's a, that's a real life representation, what happens when you hit the like button. Adding all the power-ups is not straightforward, so ChatGPT came up with an eight-step game plan. First, I went crazy in Photoshop, creating Mario, like Mario, like, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then created the other pop-ups and added them to the game. ChatGPT then created me a script for the question box, which would detect if Mario hit the question box, and if he did, spawn one of three random power-ups above it. And it worked! Well... K kind of. This is what happiness looks like. It's 2am and I've just spent the last three hours trying to get power-ups to appear. I think we've all been there though, like when you spend hours and hours trying to get something to work and it works and you're just like, yes! That was one of them moments. But ChatGPT was just a bit out of its steps here. I mean, this is a list of all the issues I had implementing the power-ups, summarised by Drake. Throughout this process, there were misunderstandings and miscommunications that led to some confusion. Before that, I thought just... And now that I had the power-ups working, I just had to implement a scoring system. Play performance was scored on how quickly they completed the level, which meant I had to add a timer function to the game to track that. I prompted ChatGPT and it gave me the code once again and instructions on how I needed to implement it. I then created a level completion screen in Photoshop to show the time it took to complete the level and the best score the user had on that level. But the game timer was still shown in the background when the level completion screen came up. I explained the issue to ChatGPT and then it rewrote the code to fix it. I hear you asking, how do you complete the level? Because I haven't added a flag to the game like you do in the normal Mario. It's better than that. You hit the subscribe button. So yeah, 
if you want to complete the level. And the very final step was to add a restart button. All I had to do for this was to add the button and add a new snippet of code to my existing, which ChatGPT provided me. But at this point, I become so lazy, I just gave it my existing code and told it to rewrite it all for me. Does, does anyone else do that or am I just lazy? <laughs> okay. Yes, let's go. Still can't believe that ChatGPT wrote all the code, basically just made this game form. Okay, what is that about? Now ChatGPT is by no means perfect. In fact, I wonder how many words or how long the conversation was between me and ChatGPT. Let's have a look. All my days, a ChatGPT was said 108 times, which means there was 216 messages. Let's have a look how many words. 30,000 words, 244,000 characters. What? So yeah, it's not perfect, but it's still seriously, seriously impressive. So much so, I'm like thinking, is this just a supported tool or can it just replace programmers altogether? Is it game over? <laughs>